It's September 3rd, 2024. I'm over here at Harper B Elementary. First time this academic year and I'm subbing 6th grade today. Well, the stay over here at Harborview is excellent. There's actually a student teacher. So basically it was history, math, and science. And the uh, student teacher took over uh, history and then I took over math and I co-taught with Mr. Morgan. If you don't know who he is, look him up. And you know, he taught and then I taught. And so the video explained something and then I took it a step further and everything and had uh, students practice. And now it's after lunch and it's science. So we're going to be talking about California wildfires. And then I have duty and then tutoring later today. So um, overall today is good. And it's neat, I was recently in an article written by a Fox News contributor that uh, had to do with uh, Ted Lasso. I'll leave a link to that in the description below for more details. Hola, mi nombre es Senor Kenslo. Hoy es miércoles el 4 de septiembre 2024 y estoy sustituyendo la clase de español um, aquí at Ensign. So that's the best I could do. Um, estoy practicando y aprendiendo español. In other words, I just said, hi, I'm Mr. Kenslow. It's uh, Wednesday, September 4th, 2024, and I'm learning and practicing Spanish, and I'm substituting Spanish class today here at Ensign Intermediate School. And what's interesting is, of all days, uh, today is September 4th, and 17 years ago today, September 4th, 2007, was my very first day here as a seventh grader, as a middle schooler, and I was nervous as heck. And in all candor, it did take a couple months for me to, you know, fit right in, but, you know, I soon started to enjoy it. And 12 years ago today, September 4th, 2012, was my first day at Newport Harbor High School as a senior, my last year there, and I started Spanish too that day. While I'm on the roll is Tuesday, September 4th, 2001, was my first day of first grade. And I still remember first grade and kindergarten, like before and after and such. So that was over at Palerino Elementary. This day is going magnificently. The first two classes were eighth graders. And then in the middle, I went to another class to help with like an ELD class. There's nine students, Spanish speakers. And so all day today, I'm getting to practice Spanish. And everyone's like very nice, especially um, those students in the other class who spoke Spanish and were teaching us um, phrases and, and words in Spanish. So this period is a prep period. There's one more period, which which is um, uh, Spanish for seventh graders. And finally, eighth period, I'm going to help out in a, another classroom down the hall, and then tutoring again this afternoon. And um, again, it's a very good day. Tengas un buen día y te veré la próxima vez. September 5th, 2024, I'm over here at Kelly Brook Elementary, uh, last minute sub job for second grade here. Well, not really a lot of things to say about today. The teacher ran through everything with me. Um, it was more managing the second graders than actually doing the teaching all day. But it was an okay day nonetheless, and I know where I'm going to be tomorrow. And it is September 6, 2024. I'm back over here at Kaiser Elementary, subbing elementary music again, uh, just like I've done at least six times in May and a probably once or twice in April. I always enjoy being here, and uh, so far we had third grade, and then I have a couple of the upper elementary classes coming in later today, so I'm excited to see how that's going to turn out. Too. A lot of the third graders who came from Woodland Elementary when they were in second grade last year remember when I did the assembly on April 15th. So today was just so melodiously marvelous and the two fifth grade classes just came and went and they were singing very good and also playing these uh, boom whackers very good too. And so as always I'm very thankful that I'm here, especially uh, doing elementary music. Um, the two fifth grade classes were exceptionally well and I uh, really appreciated that. Well it's been a great week, uh, just remember that disability or not anybody could do whatever they set their heart and mind to do. I have autism, I'm not letting that stop me and I'm just fulfilling what my passions are. Thank you for following this journey and watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.